Let's take a look at a different style of characterization results. The general idea here is that we're going to start with a notion of consensus. And, and in fact, there's different views about what actually constitutes a consensus profile. For example, you might say that a, there's consensus in a profile if everybody agrees on the rankings. So there's unanimous rankings. Everybody agrees exactly what the rankings are. But you might say, well, that would be nice, but that's, that seems too strong. It's too hard to achieve consensus in that sense. Uh, maybe we want something weaker, such as unanimous top choice. So everybody agrees on who should be ranked first. So there's you, you, every, you, unanimous agreement that such and such candidate is ranked first. But perhaps you think that that's a bit too strong, and so you can weaken it and say there's con it's a consensus profile if the majority relation is transitive, or if a Condorcet winner exists, or if a simple majority for a candidate exists. All of these can serve as a definition for what it means to say that there's consensus in the profile then the idea is that if we're given a profile that is not a consensus profile, once you fix your notion of a consensus profile, suppose we have a profile that's not cons consensus, then what you should do is you should look at the space of all possible profiles. Some of those profiles have been identified as consensus profiles. And what you should do is starting from the profile you're given, go out and try to find the closest consensus profile to the one you're given. And once you find that consensus profile that's closest, then typically it's obvious who the winner should be. And that should be the winner of the election. So the question now becomes, can we classify methods in terms of consensus profiles and an appropriate notion of a distance between profiles? Because this idea of we're given a profile and we look at the space of all possible profiles and we want to find the closest consensus profile, well, that depends on what notion of distance we're actually using. So here's a nice result. Board account, the board account winner is the candidate that is the top choice in the closest profile with unanimous top choice where the distance is measured using Kemeny distance. So board account can be characterized in terms of a notion of consensus, which is unanimous top choice, and a notion of distance, which is the Kemeny or swap distance. So let's take a look at an example to illustrate what's going on. So suppose we're given this profile. The notion of consensus we have in mind is unanimous top choice. So this profile does not satisfy that consensus condition. There is not un unanimity of the top choice. So what we have to do is we have to look out at the space of all possible profiles and try to find the closest consensus profile to this profile. Well, there are four groupings of consensus profiles. Those that rank A at the top, those that rank B at the top, those that rank C at the top, and those that rank D at the top. So each of these four possibilities identify a whole class of consensus rankings. And we want to find, we want to pick out of that class the one that is closest to the data we're actually given. So to calculate that, note that in order to turn this profile into the consensus profile where A is top rank, then these 13 voters have to move A to the top. Otherwise, everything else should remain the same. So if they do that, so we can just calculate the distance between this consensus profile and, and the profile we're actually given. The distance for this ranking, for these three voters, is zero. The distance for these five voters is zero because A is already ranked at the top. The distance for the last 13 voters is going to be three because A needs to move up three positions in order to be transformed from this ranking where A is ranked at the bottom to this ranking where A is ranked at the top. So the overall distance is 0 plus 0 plus 21 plus 18, which is 39. We can do the same thing for the B-ranked candidate. And what we need to do is 
these six voters need to move B up one position. These need to move B up two positions. And the three voters in the first row, their first column, need to move B up one position. So the total distance from the original profile to this consensus profile will be where B is ranked at the top is three times one plus five times two plus seven times zero plus six times one, which is 19. What about C? Well, the last column, C is already ranked at the top. The second to last column, C needs to move up two positions. The second column, C needs to move up one position. And the last column, C needs to move up two position. Adding up all of the numbers, we see that the distance is 25. And finally, to move D requires lots of moves. The first two columns need to move D three positions. The second column needs to move D just one position. And the last column needs to move D two position. This gives a total distance of 42. The consensus profile that is closest to the profile we're given is the one where B is ranked at the top. So that's a distance of 19. So B is going to be declared the winner. It turns out if you pause the video and check, B also is the board account winner. So what we have here, we can actually prove that the candidate that minimizes that algorithm that we just went through is always the board account winner. So why is that? Well, if A is ranked in the K in position K, then the closest ranking where A is ranked at the top is K minus one units away. So if A is ranked in the third position, so this is first, second, third, to move to another ranking where you swap as few positions as possible, but you move A to the top, you have to move A up two positions. So if A is ranked in the K position, so A is ranked in the third position, then the close, closest ranking where A is ranked at the top is K minus one units away. Suppose that there are M candidates and let NK of A denote the number of voters that rank A in the Kth position. So now the distance to the closest profile with, oops, sorry about that, A at the top is going to be zero times the number of voters that rank A in the first position, one times the number of voters that rank A in the second position, plus two times the number of voters that rank A in the third position, plus dot, 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 all the way to the last case when M minus one times the number of voters that rank A in the last position. As a reminder, the border score is you assign M minus, if there's M candidates, M minus one points to candidates ranked in the first position, M minus two points to candidates ranked in the second position, all the way down to zero points to candidates ranked in the last position. Then this is how you calculate the overall board of score. So the board account of A is M minus one times the number of people that rank A in the first position plus M minus two times the number of people that rank A in the second position and so on. And what we can prove is that if D of A is less than or equal to D of B, this is true if and only if the board account of A is greater than or equal to the board account of B. You should pause the video and try to prove this yourself. I won't go through the argument here, but it's, it's not a difficult argument. So if A minimizes the distance, that happens just in case or if and only if A maximizes the border count. So this proves that the border winner is exactly the candidate that minimizes the swap distance to the consensus profile, where the consensus profile is unanimity among the top choice. We can apply this idea to other voting methods. And in fact, if we use the same notion of consensus, namely unanimous among the top choice, that's what the unanimous profile is here, but we change our notion of distance. So this is like a discrete distance. So the distance between one 
ranking PI and another ranking QI is going to be zero if they agree on the top ranked element and it's one otherwise. So it's not a arg hard argument, but you might want to try to prove this fact that an alternative is, is the plurality winner if and only if it is closest to the unanimous profile using this measure. And in fact, we can keep going here. There, we can look at many different notions of consensus and different notions of distance, and we can use that to characterize different, the different voting methods.